Uh, right, on to the other big news from yesterday. The I'm a Celeb lineup has been announced. Uh, the lineup includes friend of the show, Bev Callard, Vernon Kay, Victoria Derbyshire, Sir Mo Farah, and Shane Ritchie. What do we make of that, Judy? Do you know what? I think, I think Shane Ritchie, he just seems like a bubbly character, the guy from... EastEnders. That's what I just I think I'd probably be voting for him. You, yeah. you know that he he's linked to the show. Is it? We've yeah. Been, how? Is Colleen, been... you better not tell Colleen that. What is is what is with Colleen? No, <laughs> it's that's Colleen's ex-husband. No. That's Colleen's baby father. You're joking! <laughs> oh my day! Where have you been? <laughs> no, I, listen, I need a list to know who's been with who, when they've been with who, who's who's baby father and baby mother because I don't want to be talking to the wrong person. You're joking. <laughs> no. I feel like I'm in a WhatsApp oh, group you. and I just found out something for the first time. <laughs> 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 you have to have the WhatsApp group is going off. Where's the emojis? Where's the live emojis? <laughs> Colleen, Colleen. Yes. That's Shane, Shane. Yes. Like, you know her Shane son Shane. is called Shane Jr. Ta-da. You know what? He's definitely going to get my vote then. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> who else have you, who have you not been with? I need to find out. Now, I have to ask you, would any of you do the jungle? Regardless as to whether it's over here or over there. Uh, you know. My friends keep saying to me, Brenda, you should go. It'll be, be a yeah. laugh. You'd be a laugh. You see, people want me to go in so that they can laugh at me yeah. rather than... Because I wouldn't be laughing. I wouldn't find yeah. anything funny. There's nothing funny about all spiders and creepy crawlies and bush tucker tucker. No! Kelly, you're you're so calm and in control. I bet you'd be brilliant in there. Mm. No, I'd be the absolute opposite. I would hate everything. I've, it has been suggested before and I've always said, no, thank you very much. I would be the Helen, Helen Flanagan of the Loose Women panel. I would just be <laughs> awful. I'd be awful. I'd be like, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I'd be useless. I'd just be Cut cooking. Myself out of that one. So the two of you would be cooking. I'd be cooking. You wouldn't be doing anything. And I would just what, be guys? a gibbering, blubbering wreck in the corner if there was a single That's spider. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine as long as it hasn't got eight legs. And then I'm out of there. I'd be screaming. It would be like one of those cartoon shapes through the jungle. <laughs> just that shape. <laughs> I'd be gone. Anyway, uh, now we've got a dating dilemma for you. Is there anything wrong uh, with using a money-off voucher on a first date? According to a survey done by Santander, one in ten of us thinks... This is socially unacceptable. There's the one. <laughs> While nearly a quarter of us say they wouldn't do it because it would make them feel cheap and stingy. Uh, but Brenda, you like you like someone who's you know economical. Yeah, Surely I'm not that's not a bad idea. You, but, uh, well, I'm not going out with you for your wallet. It's you know it's about the personality and the eyes and and what you can bring to that conversation. If you want to bring me a fifty percent off voucher, that's fine. I will make note of it for the second date. Yeah. But, hey, you know, do what you can do. You're okay with it. I'm fine with it. It's like you know, I'm dating him, not the Judy. Your face is saying something what very I'm, different. What I'm saying is, don't bring me no gas. Yeah. <laughs> Come with a voucher, that means I can't eat as much as I want. I'm gonna have gas. I don't want that. No, I don't no, want No, you can eat twice as much if you, it's well, money no. off. I, listen, I want you to pay for it because if you're getting it, I'm not giving you 50%. Do you understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> you need to, I'm just letting you know. Okay, look, if he does come with a voucher, I will be polite yeah. and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I will be phoning the friends after. And I might give him a second date to see what's going on. But I think if you're coming to me, you need to come like, you know, 100%. 100%. Yeah, but it's and about set the, the growth. Oh. It's about the growth. I've grown. I need you to come <laughs> grow. <laughs> Well, okay. you know, Kelly, this this idea, you know, that you set the bar really high on the first date. What about the opposite? You set it really low and then you constantly improve rather than saying hi and then disappointing for the rest of your life. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't think I'd be that bothered about a voucher. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be worried about it at all. And I don't think I'm a very high maintenance girl. Like I'm. I'm quite easy to please. But I do think, you know, like one of my friends. Um, uh, yeah, he's he basically did this thing where he took his now wife out on their first date, and he took her to like, you know, a, a takeaway shop that like like a McDonald's or like a Burger King, um, just to sort of set the pace so that she could he could see why he liked her you know like she he's famous and so he wanted to just kind of flesh her out a little bit and see if see if she reacted differently because he didn't take her to like a high-end restaurant just to see what her motives were like so i kind of got that but for me I'm not really that bothered yeah well the only one that's, that's bothered because <laughs> you don't like other one high maintenance chick up on here no all of you don't, don't lie to yourself <laughs> Okay, if it's like 75%, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is, look, just try, hide it. Don't tell me. Go and see the waiter at the side without me there. 
<laughs> no, Judy, no, no, no lying. No lying on the first day. It's got to be upfront and straight and honest. Oh, fine line between discretion and lying. Mm. But we'll debate that on another day.